In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply stripes to text or objects, and then how to do some uh, some tricks with the stripes tool. So let's go to page two here. Now I will use some clip art just to make this uh, demonstration more clear. I'm looking for something solid here. Uh, this will do. Accept. So we've got this elephant shape here. We'll make it full size. So what we want to do here is we want to apply some stripes to this elephant. So we come to our vector flyout here, vector effects flyout, and we click on stripes, and we get this window pop up create stripes window. Now we get a preview of uh, what we're doing here on the left, and we also can set what method we're going to use. So whether we're going to use horizontal stripes or vertical or top to bottom, etc. We can set the number of stripes and we can set the, set the width of our stripes. So if we did something simple like set it to say 20 stripes without any other options and click accept, we can see what's happened here. We've just got these stripes going through this particular image here. And if I go to wireframe, you can see how this would cut out on our plotter or our vinyl cutter, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to undo that once, and you'll see the special clip group here of the first undo. I'm going to come back and show you how you can use this in a moment. I'll just undo it once more. I'll reselect our elephant here. I'll go down to the stripes tool again. And this time I'll show you what else you can do. You can say set that you want 20 stripes, but this time you might say I want them to be uh, say an eighth of an inch like that. So you might add some more there like that. So that's an option you've got there. You can also set things like bottom to top and top to bottom. So here you can see it's going from very thin to thicker, say a quarter of an inch, I might make that say 0.2, and you can see the effect that's been created here. And you've got all these different ways in doing it left to right, right to left, etc. So I click accept and you can see I'm going from very thin through to much thicker there. Now, if I undo this once, I get this special clip group, which is represented by this crisscross effect here. If I zoom out a fair way, and I just rotate this, whoops, I've got to just rotate the clip group by selecting on that, I rotate that. I've got to make it bigger. So what I do is I hold in the shift key, and I zoom it, or stretch it out a bit bigger. And what happens is, is that the, uh, as you can see, the, the clip group here, or the stripes group, is actually picking up the whole elephant. OK, the next thing I do is I go up to Edit and I go Select All. So I've got everything selected. I mean, alternatively, I can zoom out and just drag it like that, or I can press Control a on the keyboard. But I select all these objects together. Now I come over to these tools here, these shaping tools here, and we've got Back minus Front and Front minus Back. I click on this one first, and you can see we've applied our stripes on an angle like that. So that's one thing we can do. I'll undo that once again. We can also do uh, Front minus Back. I'll just go to wireframe and you can see the effect we've created here. So we've got ways to create these stripes so that they're either horizontal or we can actually set them on these angles like this to get these different effects as you can see. And um, we can apply the stripes so that they go from thick to thin and right to left, left to right. Uh, we can set our wider stripe so I can set that to one inch there. And as you can see you can create any number of stripe effects on these sorts of objects um, using this tool here and by clicking undo once we get these this like clip group here that we can then select separately put on any angle we like uh, select the other object below it and punch it out basically so that's how the stripes tool works and that's the end of this lesson